YouTube. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the inevitable with all of these gaming PC handhelds. It's the fact that you will run out of gaming storage, especially if you use AAA titles. So we'll take a look at today's brand new Crucial P310. This is a 2230 NVMe SSD upgrade, and this thing is next level. It has read and write speeds of up to 7100 megabytes per second and 6000 megabytes per second. So I cannot wait to get this inside of my Asus ROG Ally. For today's video, we will be doing a quick internal SSD storage swap to show you how easy it is to do. Now I have some tools to make it a little bit more convenient for me that I like to use. This is a precision electric screwdriver. So if you want something like this, link down in the description below. And another thing that's definitely crucial and necessary is an external hard drive enclosure. The reason being is this is the fastest way to do this swap because we will clone this internal drive onto this crucial hard drive instantly. And then we'll just plug this in and it's gonna work as if we never changed anything except we're gonna have more storage and we can download more games. So let's get directly into the video. And in this video, we will be doing a speed test. Now, I will be using a hub to do this because I'm gonna be plugging in the hard drive that we're cloning into this hub. And then I will also be maintaining power that way. Plugging our power source into this, we will be plugging directly into our ROG Ally. All right, it's time to unbox the Crucial P310. There it is. One great thing about Crucial joining the 2230 market is it equals a better market for us, the consumer. Okay, so we're gonna take the Crucial drive and place it into the enclosure. We're gonna take this enclosure and connect it to our hub. Okay, so now we are opening our disk copy software from EZUS. It says a new drive on this computer was found. Do you want to migrate OS to this new drive? And literally, we're gonna hit yes. We're gonna hit proceed, and it's literally going to proceed to clone this drive. It's that simple, gotta love it. YouTube, so we are back after that lengthy cloning process. So let me share the process of opening up the ASUS ROG Ally. We are off, as you guys can see. Press the power button, nothing on the screen because this thing is off. Okay, so let's grab our precision screwdriver right here. And we are gonna remove all six screws, except for this one. This one locks in and it doesn't remove. Easiest way to do this is via a pick. There we go, nice and smooth. So since I've opened this before, it's gonna be a super easy opening process. Next, disconnect the battery. You can literally pull this battery out and by disconnecting the battery, you're just preventing yourself from accidentally turning this on while you're doing this. And then literally, I can remove the hard drive. We're just gonna grab your SSD and remove it. All right, here's our original SSD and here's our newer, faster, and larger one from Crucial. So let's put this one in and let's get some serious speed improvement and some serious storage space. All right, then you're gonna take your SSD screw and you're gonna replace it. All right, I didn't wanna over tighten that, so I went in nice and slow. Then I'm gonna reapply my power cable. Just make sure you don't press the power button while squeezing and holding this to place the cable in. Place this down carefully, avoiding the power button. I'm gonna get this to click. You're probably gonna to get to this point and you're gonna probably try it and power it on and it may not power on, don't worry, you did not do anything wrong. You may just need to plug in your power cable. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna plug it in. Let me go ahead and hit it with my fingerprint. As you guys can see, it boots directly up. All of my games are on here. I got Call of Duty, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Helldivers 2, Grand Theft Auto, Sonic, some Dragon Balls and so forth, and now I can add a lot more. So as you guys can see, I have 1.16 terabytes free. So we got our speeds from our previous disc. Now let's test this new one, right? So let's see what kind of numbers we get with this Crucial. I'm expecting it to be Crucial, baby. <laughs> right off the bat, y'all see your top 7,017 and counting. Let's go. Okay, the results are in. So on the left is the old stock ROG Ally drive, and on my right is the new and improved, faster, 
and larger crucial drive. You know, the fact is that they delivered extremely close to their claims, and that's a W. That's all you can ask for when you are purchasing something and there's a claim behind it. So major shout out to Crucial for actually delivering on their hard drive speeds. The next thing I need to do in order to test this device is just play on it and make sure that it plays just fine, which I'm expecting it to do just that. So this is more reason if not to join the Crucial Clan for higher performance storage. And it lets you focus on what you do best, which is gaming, right? And you can finally store and load games faster with the capacity of up to two terabytes and level up your library for heavy gameplay from anywhere.